Hi, I'm Greer Clover. I'm the brand manager for First Gear. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our First Gear heated apparel by Warm and Safe. We're going to cover connection to the bike, our heat troller kits and what they contain, and how to make a basic connection for the apparel. Let's get started. Step one, let's talk about electrical. Every kit comes with what we call the pigtail. This is the direct connection to the battery of the bike. Please note that this is the most important connection to directly to the battery and every part of our system runs off of this pigtail. Each pigtail, we use the finest gauge coaxial connectors and heavy gauge wiring. Each pigtail comes with a 15 amp fuse for full protection when you're running at full output on, on the heated gear. As well, every coaxial connector has a full weatherproof plug on the end to protect it. And this is something that you can set on the bike and forget about it. Installing your pigtail is a simple process. Always install the positive terminal first and then the negative. To identify which is the positive lead on the pigtail, always remember the positive is where your fuse is. Install that first, install the, the negative second. When you're going to ride two up, and remember, all, every rider and every passenger needs their own heat troller. Each kit will contain the pigtail. Install the second pigtail the exact same way as you saw the first. Positive first, that's the side with the fuse, negative second. In addition to that, we also make a feature that allows you to plug your SAE plug into your battery charger home in the garage. Just unplug the connection that comes with it, plug our connector right on, it's phased correctly, and now you can use our connector to plug right into your battery charger. One connector to the battery to supply all the needs for your bike at home. Now we've covered connection to the battery, let's move on to the kits. We have two styles of controller in the heated gear system. We have a single controller and we have a dual controller. Within each of those, we have a portable and a remote. And we'll talk about each of those individually. Let's talk about heat trollers and what they are. We have two variations, the single and the dual. Remember, every rider and every passenger must have their own heat troller. A single heat troller with one knob controls the entire outfit. You have one control, one temperature range, and that's how it works. With the dual system, you can actually have a different zone. So some people like to have the lower body at a different temperature than the upper body. So that could be gloves and a jacket liner, pant liner and, a, and socks could be a different situation. There's other ways you can connect two, but that's how most people do it. So two zones, one zone. Two controls, one control. Remember, every rider and every passenger must have their own heat troller. We've talked about the differences between the single and the dual. Now let's talk about the differences between the portable and the remote. In the remote, we have a completely wireless uh, package. And in the portable, we have a hardwired piece that connects directly to the power source. Each kit comes with, in this case, the dual portable comes like this with its own pigtail. And the remote comes with its wireless transmitter and the wireless receiver, which goes in the pocket, as well as the pigtail. Now let's get into each kit and how they hook up. The installation between a single and a dual is exactly the same, just as the installation between a portable and a wireless is exactly the same. You have a power cord, zone one, zone two. Power cord, zone one, and zone two. And in the case of a single, you just have zone one. When you're wiring in, everything is clearly labeled so it's very easy to see. You have a power in, power out, and power out, each representing one or two zones. Same thing on the wireless remote. We've gone over all the four different kits that we have, the two singles and the two doubles. Let's talk about the liners themselves. As you can see, I'm wearing our 90 watt liner and it is uh, actually a marvel of riding comfort. We have full heated panels on the front, full heated panels on the sleeves, fully lined heated collar, and a fully lined heated back. The jacket is available in men's and in women's sizes. Now remember that this is a liner jacket. This is designed to be worn underneath your standard riding apparel, your armored jacket. So with that in mind, let's talk about how we plug these things in. We start with the left pocket. This is where the main controls are for plugging in the heat troller. 
we're going to use this demonstrator model that's on the table. And we're going, to we're going to start with the wireless remote. Here the, the wireless remote plugs into its own little pocket that's sewn inside the jacket liner. Thread the cables through the bottom of the pocket. It's channeled for each zone and for the power cord. It's actually two separate channels one for each zone and one for the power. But it really doesn't matter. You can do it any way you really want to. And then once this thing is in there, you pretty much set and forget it. You don't need to access or pull this thing out again, except when you launder it. The receiver is tucked into its pocket, and now we have threaded the, the, the zones and the power outlet to the receiver through these internal buttonholes in the pocket. These will go through the liner into a small zipper pocket that's inside the garment. And as you can see here, there's your buttonholes. That's your zone two. And this is your power code that connects to the pigtail on the bike. You can zip that up and you're sealed up. This re resides inside the garment, again, underneath your riding jacket. Zip up your pocket and you're good to go. You really don't have to do anything more with this until you want to wash the jacket one day, then we'll have you pull the receiver out of the jacket for the wash cycle. Well, we've installed the wireless remote inside the jacket liner pocket. The portable remote, the wired version, is installed exactly the same way in the liner, but now we have the portable remote outside the liner jacket. Here you can see it installed in the optional carry case. And this is a completely waterproof unit too, so no worries about weather. And now you have easy and full control while you're riding. Well, we've seen how we've connected power to the bike. We've seen how we've wired the systems to the jackets. Now let's see the accessories and how they connect together. I'm wearing the liner jacket, as you recall. Pre-wired into every jacket is the cable that connects to a glove liner, if, that's prefer if you like to do that. We also do a full-on heated glove with carbon knuckle. Again, pre-wired. And then we also connect directly to our tights. The same zip pocket in the front of the, of the tight connects to the internal of the jacket liner. And then pre-wired into the tight, all the way down to a separate zipper pocket here, is a cable to run the heated socks. So you can really stay warm and safe from head to toe. And now we want to show you what the heat troller looks like when it's all powered up and into your system. Two zones. Turn it up, and you can see the flashing red light. That's as you're coming up to heat. You have full regulatory control, and when you get to full power and full warmth, the red light stays on. The same thing happens with zone two, except that yellow, that light is yellow. Come up to full warmth, it stays on. Full control over two zones of comfort. When you're done, turn it off, and you're good to go. If you leave or forget to turn your heat troller off, it's not a big deal because it will automatically cut down to one-third power. That protects you, protects the fuse. It's a completely safe system, foolproof. We have a wide variety of accessories to work with your kit systems. We have USB plugs. We have extensions. We have Y cords. We also make individual cases for the controllers. And here's the DC coax plug that we mentioned before for your battery charger. These accessories are just a small part of our total accessories package. Check out firstgear-usa.com for the full selection. These key features here will allow you to run your system in a whole slew of ways that really, really bring out the best of what we have.